Hey, Steven Strelsky with the Building Construction Field Solution Team and um, Building Point Teams. Today, we're going to show you um, how to use Connect to actually upload an NWD uh, model, as well as place some models or markers for AR alignment and even bring in some Scandia into Connect. So, Connect is typically a um, web-based application. Uh, this is actually where you were able to add in markers and even do statusing. But um, a good way to get started is actually download the Trimble Connect for desktop or Windows um, right here. And what that'll allow me to do is actually drop in an NWD and convert it. If I'm using Field Link, I can convert the NWD there, um, but we actually need to convert it locally on um, my machine here uh, so that it essentially uh, saves it as a TRB file, which is something that essentially all Trimble products can recognize. So here, um, I have my model selection. I kind of just come in here, open my 3D view, and then before it actually saves that NWD, it's gonna convert it. And to convert it, all I need to do is turn it on uh, visually, and then it'll convert it to TRB. Um, when I'm in here, there's a couple things I also like to do before I export. This is obviously a very small model of my house, um, but I can actually, with large models, start to clip up areas so that I'm only looking at the uh, part of the model I'm going to be in. This makes it a lot easier when I'm using a very large project so that I'm not sending massive files up. Um, so I can do this with the selection and hide only. I can also do some different um, layer or um, color uh, classifications to, to choose from and what I send and I can turn those off. Then when I'm happy with essentially what I'm turned off or have turned back on, um, I can come back to this model button and you can see I actually turned on some of my furniture in the roof. Uh, there, I can uh, export a TRB with just that clipped area. This will work um, for well for the XR10. So if I'm going to view the model on the HoloLens, generally I need to have uh, less geometry for it to work optimally. Um, but it'll also actually help for those massive models for field link um, as well as AR. So I can convert that. It'll actually load up that clipped TRB from that Navisworks file that I dropped in and converted. Um, up to the project or I can use this option and um, it'll upload it automatically to the project folder on Connect Web or I can write it locally here as well too, to any folder I choose and then upload it again. Um, so that is essentially um, how to convert an NWD and then how to clip it. Uh, that is generally needed for large projects and will help me prep the data. Um, the other thing I can do on Connect Desktop, which is nice, is actually view point clouds. Um, this, I need to actually add that point cloud file by selecting it. Um, you can see all the different file types, TDX to everything. Um, here I'm only going to load in one TZF because uh, it does take a little bit of time to convert it to a poetry file format, and I can view it locally. Um, so this is nice for someone who doesn't have uh, recap on their computer or field link or RealWorks, um, or if you can't do the RealWorks publisher, this will actually allow someone else to do the model as well. So you can see there is my scan data along with my model data as well. Um, after I'm done with that, I will actually, I've clipped the model, converted it from Navisworks and showing you the point cloud. I can come back to uh, my uh, web version. And typically here is where I'm actually going to want to make sure that before I go out to the field, everything's been uploaded and converted before I get there. This is kind of hard. You can't do it out in the field, but you need some data um, to convert that um, NWD. So I try and do this uh, half an hour before um, at least. But here you can see that NWD I've sent. Um, and then if I actually come back here, you should be able to see that clip version as well too. Um, and once I can view it on the web, I can view it on my phone in AR or in just the Connect app and on the HoloLens. Um, the next nice thing to do here is before I send it out is to end up uh, adding markers as well too. So these markers um, will allow me to align uh, with the AR app and then hopefully soon eventually um, in my field link option. So once I place this uh, marker, it has a coordinate. I can, if I'm using it for AR or the HoloLens, I'll generally just do a basic measurement um, to see where I need to put it. So about four feet up in the air. Um, if I'm going to put a foot over, use it for um, a RTS setup, I'm actually going to want to um, place it with an RTS. Drop this control relative to the control that's already on the uh, site. So I can download this PDF 
or of this QR code marker. And then um, if I'm using it for AR, just use a, I usually just visually do it and place it on the wall. Um, we'll show you another video on how to do that. Uh, if I'm going to use it as a control point, I'll actually want to measure in this spot here at the bottom left um, with the coordinates here, or I can download them as well here. Um, but with that QR code marker, I just want to make sure I print it out before I go there as well too. And we'll show you that on another video on how to align with the QR code um, for Trimble Connect AR. It's a hugely valuable workflow to see um, where the project may be going away with some QAQC. Uh, it is not going to be a, as accurate as uh, using the laser scanner to con uh, compare to the model or your RTS, obviously, but it's good for um, qualitative uh, analysis. So, thank you.